Assalamu alaikum students. Today you are going to start a new chapter. Chapter number 3, Expansion and Factorization of Algebraic Expressions. What are the objectives? By the end of the lesson, students will be able to define the algebraic linear and quadratic expressions, formation of algebraic linear and quadratic expressions, differentiate between linear and quadratic expressions, differentiate between expressions and equations, recognize the quadratic expressions, and to simplify the quadratic expressions. What is the recap? Algebraic expression. You have read in book one that what are the algebraic expressions in an expression which consists of algebraic terms operation symbols or brackets this type of ex expression has no equal sign for example 3x negative 5 is an algebraic expression addition and subtraction of quadratic expressions while applying these operations there are certain points to follow number one like terms will be added or subtracted number two different powers of the variables or unlike terms cannot be operated together for example here is an expression 2x square plus 4x square is equals to 6x square as the power of the variable is same so these terms are like terms students the variable and its power should be same so the terms would be like terms like terms are the terms with the same variable raised to same power. The coefficient do not have to be same. Product of algebraic terms. When we multiply an algebraic term by an other algebraic term containing same variable, the coefficient of and variable are multiplied separately. For example, 3x multiplied by 2x is equals to, we will multiply number by number, that is 3 into 2 and variable with variable and x by x is equals to 3 2s are gives us 6 and x multiplied by x is equals to x squared. Law of exponents. This law can be applied when same variables with different powers are being multiplied. The law states the powers of the variables are added. For example, in the previous example, I am taking the same example 3x multiplied by 2x. I am multiplying the numbers 3 multiplied by 2 and x by x is equals to 6x raised to power the one power is with first term and x one power is with other term so the, uh, it gives us total two powers of x in the answer distributive law if there are four terms a b c d such that the sum of a and b is multiplied with the sum of c and d then this law will be applied a plus b into c plus d i will take a number from first group of expression and I'll multiply the, uh, that number with the whole expression. So a into c plus d is equals to b into c plus d that is equals to a into c plus d a into c is equals to a c plus a into d is equals to a d plus b into c gives us b c plus b into d gives us b d. Here's an example students. I have to simplify 2x square plus x plus negative x squared plus 3x plus 1. Step number 1, if the, there are parentheses in the expression, I first, I first need to remove the parentheses. So it would be 2x squared plus x plus into minus gives us negative x squared plus 3x plus 1. Step number two, combining and solving like terms. Now 2x squared, negative x squared, I'm bringing like terms together, plus x and plus 3x and then the constant term. Because x square x square are like terms and x and x are like terms. So 2 minus 1 gives us 1. That is not need to write 1 in the coefficient. So I am leaving with only x square. Plus, plus 3x plus 1x gives us 4x and plus 1. Now there is no further uh, uh, like term in the expression. So this is the final answer. Hope you will be able to simplify the questions now. Thank you students.